This is the Horse Radio Network. This is episode 228 of Horse Tip Daily. A different horse tip, a different equine topic, a different equestrian expert every day. Horse Tip Daily brings the world of equine knowledge to you one day at a time. Today's tip is sponsored by Feed XL. Enjoy today's tip. I am Glenn the Geek, back with you from Lexington, Kentucky, and welcome back to Horse Tip Daily. Today, we'd like to welcome our newest sponsor, FeedXL, to the show. On the show today, we have a delightful new expert from Australia. She is starting with us to provide tips on nutrition, and today she will introduce us to our newest sponsor and their cool product. Her name is Dr. Nerida Richards, and let's get her on the line from the land down under. Well, hi, Dr. Richards, and welcome to Horse Tip Daily. We appreciate you being on with us all the way from Australia. Hi, Glenn. Thank you for having me on. It's great. Now, what part of Australia are you in? I'm from a place called Newcastle, which I guess is about halfway between Sydney and Brisbane on the east coast. Ah, you're in the pretty part. Yeah, the warm part. Yes. not so warm today. <laughs> it's sort of like um, our, so- uh, our south uh, here in the United States. It's, it's a little bit warmer, and you've got the coast there. Yes, we do, but I'd argue that we probably have nicer beaches than you guys. I think you probably do, too. You'll have to come and check out Newcastle's beaches. They're great. I think I would tend to agree with you, to be honest. <laughs> and do you, do and you, you surf at all? There's like two, two people on them. So do you surf at all? Uh, no. No? <laughs> I swim, but I can't surf. Okay, I was just checking. I didn't know, I didn't know if your doctorate was in surfology. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, I try to get my horses to swim as well, but I don't really like it very much. <laughs> now, you have your PhD in? Uh, equine nutrition. I studied uh, looking at the digestion of grains in the horse's small intestine. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that's appropriate considering what we're going to be talking about today. Um, And we're talking about, uh, and we want to welcome you, uh, actually, as a Feed XL, as an advertiser here on Horse Tip Daily. You're going to begin to advertise, actually, this week. And we certainly appreciate uh, you joining us here at the Horse Radio Network and becoming one of our sponsors. No, no problem. We're really looking forward to working with you. Well, you know, Feed XL is what we're talking about. I'm going to give you a chance to uh, explain it here, but I, but I want to say before we get started that, uh, as you know, because it, this took a couple of weeks to get together, because we do our research here at the Horse Radio Network, we just don't take anybody as an advertiser. And I had several people take a look at the program, what we're going to be talking about today and your product, and they all agreed that they thought it was very good. So that's the reason that we agreed to take on Feed XL as a sponsor. We, we, we're very happy that you guys were interested. But I, didn't, I don't know if the audience realizes that we really are kind of picky, and now you can vouch for that. <laughs> I, I, I can. <laughs> you emailed us and said, we need to check this out, which is great. I mean, it's nice that you now understand what it is as well. If um, someone asks you or when you're talking about it, it's good because it's a different concept. I mean, it's not something that is common in the horse industry yet. Very common in other animal industries, but not for horses. Well, and, you know, it's there's a lot, especially when it comes to feed, when it comes to horse feed and supplements, there's a lot out there. There's a lot of misinformation. There's a lot of people out there claiming to know what they're doing. And it's just one of those areas where you have to be very careful. And of course we read the commercials, you know, we're endorsing these, you know, Mm -hmm. as hosts of the horse radio network, we're endorsing those products and we're just not going to do products we don't believe in. So, so now that we've established that we've checked you out a little bit, um, tell us about feed XL and everybody can find it at feed. It's F E E D X L.com. That's right. Okay, so Feed XL basically is a, um, a, a ration formulator, I guess, for your horse. So very simply, what it does is you tell Feed XL um, what your horse is doing, what its body weight is, if it's an easy keeper, if it needs to gain or lose weight, um, whether it has any diseases that are nutrition-based, so things like tying up or um, laminitis. And from that information, Feed XL works out what your horse's requirements are for, for I think it's about 20 something different nutrients um, and then you can tell Feed XL then what you're feeding your horse um, from pasture and hay right through to any any type of feed and supplement I think we've got about two and a half thousand feeds and supplements in Feed XL 
So you put in everything that you're feeding. Um, if something you're feeding is not in there, you just have to tell us and we'll, we'll track the information down for you. Uh, and then basically it will show you whether what you are feeding is meeting your horse's requirements for all its important nutrients, so energy, protein, amino acids and vitamins and minerals. And I was surprised. Buana, we were surprised at how extensive the questioning was, um, mm-hmm. which was good. I mean, that means that, you know, it's really getting into the heart of what you're feeding your horse in every which way. And then, uh, you know, we were really surprised at the extent of the results that came out of that, that analysis in, in so many different areas. Mm-hmm. It is. I mean... Um, it's it's a tool. You have to keep in mind that you you need to use it in conjunction with looking at your horse and knowing your horse, knowing what feeds um, suit it. But but for sure, it's pretty extensive as far as making sure that what you're feeding is is what your horse needs. And it even goes down to salt and water, and I mean it really goes through everything, from diet to the nutrients that are involved. Uh, your graphs are great. Um, that was the other thing that uh, that I really questioned uh, uh, the people that I had tested out, and I was sort of looking at myself, is how easy it was to use and how uh-huh. easy it was to understand when you got the results. Because let's face it, you have a doctorate in this. Uh, we all are just trying to figure it out by the day and, you know, read bags and things like that. And, and we don't know what we're doing, so it has to be fairly simple. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So what we did, um, I had developed an, an older, much older um, CD-ROM piece of software years ago. That was years and, ago. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, no, it's such old technology now, which, I mean, is the nice thing about FedEx. Well, it's, it's internet-based, which a lot of people don't don't realize either. They think they still have to download things, which you don't. Um, it's all there, so you can use it from any computer anywhere you are, which is, which is great. But um, the old software, when we came to develop FedEx, we spent months um, watching people use the old software um, and and just observing, you know, the places they got stuck, the things that were frightening them, um, the things that they didn't understand. And then from that, we started developing FedExL. And I think Sue and I probably for four or five months actually travelled around and got all different sorts of horse people to sit down with um, a prototype. It was a full prototype, didn't actually balance a diet, but had all the right buttons and stuff and just watched people use it and then adjusted it according to um, things they found easy and things they found hard to make it as streamlined and as easy to use as possible. Well, and that's the way you have to do it because because that that's what tends to happen. I'm, I, I am also a, a web designer. What tends to happen is we know what we're doing and we know where we're going and what we want to happen, but we don't always look at it from the perspective of a person who doesn't. Yes. And yep. so th- I think that's very important, and it shows in the final product, I think. Um, so it definitely shows there. So now, is it easy to take the results that I get after I plug in all the information about what I'm feeding my horse? And you're right, there were lots of different feeds that are available here in the United States and Europe. Um, and, and, and you're not just putting feeds in, but you're also putting every supplement in everything that you put in your horse's body. Mm -hmm. Um, is it easy then for, for the, the, for the, the user to then take that information and correlate it into what they should change in their feeding? Yes. So once you've done your first run through and put in what you are currently feeding and had a look at the results, um, say, for example, your horse comes up um, short of selenium, iodine, and vitamin B1. Um, it will then it'll guide you then in what sort of supplements you can add to meet those requirements. Say, for, for iodine, for example, it'll suggest that you might be able to add iodized salt. Um, because it's not associated with any feed or supplement company, it, it's never going to give you actual specific um, product recommendations, but it'll it'll guide you, I guess. And there's also a user forum on there, like a, a FedExL members forum, where you can get on and ask either ourselves or other people who are using FedExL for help in, in meeting the requirements that are missing from your horse. So it's just it's simply a matter of just going back to where you originally put all the information in for your horse's diet and just adjusting things. It might just be a, a case of either increasing a supplement that you're already feeding or, or adding another one in or changing one to that's a little bit more suitable for your particular horse. So it is, it's really easy just to keep adjusting. It, it can be time-consuming, but it, it's very easy. Well, and I would say too, 
if you're going to take a look at this, this is the one one caution I would give, is if you're going to take a look at this and you're going to do it, take the time to do it right when you're putting the information in. Yeah. It's like anything else, and it will take you a little bit of time. It took us a little bit of time. Um, it, it's like anything else, you know, with computers especially, with computer programs. What you put in is what you get out. So if you put crap in, you're going to get crap out. Exactly. Um, yeah. You have to take the time to do this one right, and it's very important for your horse's health that you do. Yes. So things like um, body weight of your horse is a, is a critical one. Um, people will often underestimate or overestimate that one. And then when it comes to the weight of the feed you're feeding as well, it's great if you can actually weigh what you're feeding so you know exactly what is going in. Well, great. And now I think another important thing too, and this we looked at when we took a look at you guys, was that you're not tied into a feed company. There are other programs out very similar to this, not quite as extensive, I would say, but they're all tied into a feed company or a feed or a supplement company. Yeah. You guys are independent, and I think that's what gives it also a lot of credibility. Yeah. I mean, the whole idea behind Feed Excel was that it... I guess empowered people to make their own feeding decisions um, based on science, but science that was made really easy and and fun. A lot of people tell us as well, um, so that you can make your own decisions without any type of marketing hype in your ear um, influencing your decision. You can see in um, black and white or, or red and purple, as may be the case, um, whether what you're feeding is meeting your horse's requirements or not. And it's good for everybody, everybody, it's good for all horses as well, from foals on up to oldsters, right? Yes. Okay. And pregnant? Yes, yeah, yep. and all different stages of pregnancy, so you go from your, your very early pregnant through to a couple of middle stages, and then your, your last month, you can treat them differently as well, so yep. Oh, wow, that's great. Well, that's very, that is very extensive. All right, everybody can find this, and our t- tip of the day is to check out FeedXL. That's at FeedXL.com. Now, let's talk a little bit about, uh, about how you guys make money. Um, the, the, you, you actually have a fee for this plan. Is that right? Yes, yeah, that's correct. Um, it's, yes, we need to make money so that we can continue to run <laughs> the software. But, um, look, the plans are pretty varied um so there's pretty much one there for everyone it starts from fifteen dollars is the um at the lower end so that will give you access to feed excel for a month on what we call our light plan so the light plan um, analyzes a few less nutrients it, it certainly does all the most important ones but it's sort of more for people who have got um maybe retirees or horses that they they go out trail riding on right. horses that aren't under a lot of pressure to to perform or breed continually um and then it goes up to $270 for a whole year's access for up to 30 horses. So that's the most extensive plan. So most people will use, say, for three horses for a year's access at $75. So most people, I think, will save that in um, reduced feeding costs. Well, yeah, and I think that that's what uh, you've probably found, and, and I'm sure you watch the the, uh, the users and the information and, and probably gather some interesting t- t- statistics from, from everybody that's typing in all of this information, is that people are probably feeding too much as opposed to too little in supplements and feed. Yeah, I mean, one of the main pieces of feedback we get from people, which is really nice, is that, you know, they just they cut their feed bills down by so much. And I think, I mean, my, my thinking is that because people don't actually know um, down to a lot of detail what they're putting into their horses' feed, they tend to overcompensate and put more in than their horses need. Just well, we do that with our dogs out. and our kids, too. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> so. When, you, when you can see, it, it gives you that peace of mind, and you can sort of take out all the unnecessary stuff. And, and we all learn that from our mothers, off. though, don't we? If all else yeah. fails, feed them more. <laughs> that's, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> and it goes, as I said, it goes with our dogs, our cats, our kids. Yeah, uh, but I mean, when you're feeding something as big as a horse more than it needs, it gets very expensive very yeah. quickly. Yeah. Uh, well, this is terrific. It's it's at feedxl.com. We appreciate you being on, and you're actually going to come back with us on a fairly regular basis here and do some nutrition tips as well, right? I am, and that'll be great. Okay, good. Well, we appreciate you being on, and we're looking forward to working with you guys. Great. Thanks, Glenn. 
Well, thank you to Dr. Richards and to FeedXL uh, for becoming part of the show. Dr. Richards will be joining us on a regular basis with nutrition tips for your horses. I don't know about you, but I love that accent, so she can come back as often as she likes. You can drop me an email at Glenn with two ends at horseradionetwork.com, and don't forget to stop by our website at horsetipdaily.com for our show notes with the links to all the experts. And we'd love your feedback. You can do that by going to our website and just clicking the contact link at the top of the page. Just let us know how you're enjoying the show. Or if you'd like to hear a certain expert or whatever, just drop us, a li- uh, drop us an email. We'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to check out all the other great shows on the Horse Radio Network at horseradionetwork.com. Well, I'll be back again tomorrow with another new expert and a different horse tip. Until then, stay safe, everyone.